trouble and um, grilled onions and a whole mess of cheese okay. it's so good <laughs> I'm make sure I get a bite of pickle with this one yes can't have a pickleless bite mm. You look sad that it's so good. <laughs> I, I am because I know that I you can't eat this it. Burger, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Have the flying Hawaiian chicken burger. And I like I like the pineapple. So I'm kind of black. We brought some special guests with us today. Yep. Um, here we have Landon. You might remember Melanie from Hello. Hot Chicken Week. Yes. <laughs> this is a falafel sandwich. This is a lamb burger here. I want to bring the rest of that home. So in four days when I'm hungry again. <laughs> really good. Uh, it's got a hot dog on it. We came to her in her natural habitat. Yeah. She's a member of the Notch Club here at uh, Jack Brown's. I'm at 656. So that's, 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 that's 656 beers that she's drinking today. I thought that, I thought that was burgers. <laughs> I didn't get any hot dogs Ooh. in that bite. Nah. This is our I'm totally one of our special guests. Yes. Um mm, wash. That hot dog kind of kicks in. It does. Yeah, it's it's really got good. like a hot dog. That, that's special. I, like I never would have and pepper jack and pickles and stuff. Let's see. A quarter pound certified Angus beef patty top with cheddar cheese, sriracha fried onion streaks, Berkshire bacon, and our homemade blackberry barbecue sauce. It's community burgers. I want more of that barbecue sauce. This is the first burger that we've had with pimento cheese on it, and I'm really excited. That was good. That's that famous Twin Cakes patty. So when you come to Rosie's Twin Cakes, please ask them, do you make your pimento cheese in-house? The answer is yes. <laughs> PB and J burger. It's got pimento cheese, bacon, and tomato jam. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. So 
falling apart a little already. Yeah, it turns out maybe you can just put like stuff on a burger and it's cool. Alright, so it has rye, sauerkraut, a burger sauce, patty, Swiss a house cheese. made Thousand Island. The kraut and the sauce is on point. Really, really good. Um, I don't like sauerkraut, Thousand Island dressing, or rye bread. Okay, there's something about it all together though. Yeah, I just, at this point, I just want this to be corned beef in here. We have officially seen our first bachelorette party. Woo! Whisper of pickle that I got was really good. This is a well-made, standard, classic burger. I like it. I can eat a few of them. Easily. Not today. <laughs> Not today. I do like the addition of the salsa verde. Uh, we've got a uh, new guest joining us. Hello. Cheers. Standard cheeseburger with some shredded lettuce and maybe some onions down in there. It's a good fry. Cook on that burger. It's a really nice cheeseburger. I would totally do that burger. It's a sexy burger. <laughs> Good egg. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Yeah, I need another bite. I need another okay, bite. okay. <laughs> Soul Burger. I like that patty a lot. The bulgogi sauce is much sweeter than I I would typically expect a bulgogi to be. The flavor of the burger itself um, is really good. We have the L and L burger. Pretty classic burger. I don't know why more people don't put mayo on a burger. If you need to put burgers, it'll hit the spot. Five years ago, I waited in line at this very food truck in Centennial Park. It was a very hot summer day. I waited for probably 30 to 45 minutes to get my burger, only to arrive home and discover that I had developed heat stroke. I have not since been back to this food truck. Never forget, never again. I made it for a blue center. I'm not mad at it, but it just tastes mostly of wing sauce. Big old burger patty, fried bologna. <laughs> Tastes like heart disease. In like a good way. <laughs> Roasted to hatch green chilies, some cheese, some lettuce, tomato, onion, and it looks like there's some sort of sauce on there. Some mayo on there. That second bite was more green chili. Tastes really fresh. The patties season 12? Textural variation at the bottom. I'm digging that. The sauce is kind of light, but it's got a little tang to it, so it's really good. That's a good bun. Like a peach compote, uh, some arugula, and some goat's cheese on it. We asked for it to be cooked medium, and it is. It's a nice peppery patty. 
which is pretty good though. Patty kitchen. Peach in your face. That is interesting. That is like nothing I've ever eaten before. The Nation's Burger. It a nice beefy flavor. That's a good, that's a good patty. For standard burger, I think this is my favorite so far. Uh, we have another special guest joining us today. The one only Greg. Welcome. Thank you. I'm here supporting them and body engineering. I'm an amateur. I'm not a professional like these two. It has the patty. It has some brie and blueberry and some onion straws and fried jalapenos. The blueberry is a little much. Real good meaty flavor. Everything else is pretty good. I like the blueberry. I really do. Mm. Those jalapenos I just got out of there. Interesting bit. Yeah. Pretty standard looking burger. We did not have to pay extra for the guac. The veg is actually crispy and kind of fresh. It's like Chipotle or something. Yeah, there's something in there. It's a Swiss. It has cheddar. It has onion straws. It has a pretzel bun. These are the best out, so so be spabrantist. What do you say, chabro? This is good. Normally, I would make a lot of jokes about being in a place in the mall, but I really like this place. Day six of Burger Week. The struggle is beginning to get real. We have the big bad black bean The black bean patty is holding together really well. That cilantro lime sauce is uh, pretty good. Ooh, there's a jalapeno in here. Pork patty with slaw and um, like a golden barbecue sauce. The sauce is kind of tangy. The pork flavor. Very really nice. That's really good. Greek burger. It's got a lamb patty, tzatziki, whipped feta, pickled Fresno chilies, and arugula. Our second lamb burger of the week. Those Fresno chilies have just a hint of spice to it. They're not bad. A dang good burger. Having their famous French bread burger. That is a good beefy burger. I like the French bread uh, bun there. Oh, there's a pickle in there too. This will hit the spot for sure. Real bad news. I'm not happy right now. As you can see kind of in the background, all these power lines are being worked on and down. Slider house, as a result, has no power and is not open. <laughs> on our last day of Burger Week, we've been foiled. We have been betrayed. Why? Why would you do this to us? Couldn't you wait till Monday when it's not Burger Week? Say <sighs> lovey. We must persevere. We still have, hopefully there's, there's burgers still to be had today. <laughs> it's the Super Tuscan burger. A chewiness to the fresh mozzarella. I love rosemary focaccia. And the pancetta and that tomato jam work really well together. Yeah, I like this a lot. So glad that we've, that's the last one. Burger Republic, their East Coast burger. It's kind of a Philly cheesesteak style burger. That's a little good. Oh, um, that patty's really good. Patty's really good. 
I really like the cheese. The pepper is a good flavor. I mean, if a Philly cheesesteak was a burger, this would be it. So. Yeah, you know, that is how it goes. We did it. Burger week. I don't know what else to say about it. Our other lifestyle. Welcome. Thank God. I'm never having another burger again. No, really? Until I do. Oh my God, guys. I am so stuffed. But we did it. 35 burgers in one week. They said it couldn't be done. And we proved them wrong. Michelle, what was your honorable mention? Uh, my honorable mention was the lamb burger from Cafe Rocca in Hendersonville. How about you? Mm. Rotier is the classic natural institution. And our runner up for best burger was? Uh, natural Jam Company with their pimento cheeseburger. Oh, so, so good. And the moment you've been waiting for, our pick for best burger of Burger Week was? Mill, Mill Creek. Creek. Truth be told, I could probably go for a Milk Week Burger you know, right I now. too. Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Yes. Thank you to the National Scene for organizing Burger Week. And thank you to our sponsors. Stay tuned later to see all their names. Um, guys, if you like this video, um, please comment if you want more or if you have ideas for future videos. Let us know. If you're wondering, should I like, should I subscribe to this channel? The answer's yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. And as always, continue to make better decisions.